While standing in a McDonald's for early lunch, I stared at the open box of what should have been a Big Mac. It might have started off as a Big Mac, but with the lettuce all over the place, the special sauce looking like it had just lost a fight, and the patties giving me the impression that they just got off a double shift down at the factory. It made me reminisce about how we came to this. The pale image of what used to be the quintessential burger of America. It made me think war is hell. Because I'm old enough to remember how it started. For those of you younger than I, you would think this is the way it's always been. I write this to dissuade you of that opinion. I remember the war. I was just a teenager. The battle raged for years. The prices dropped and the pickles flew. There were sesame seed buns everywhere. The horror. In an effort to garner more support, the burger bastions whipped them out faster and faster. Billy at the burger stop down the street didn't make it. While John was a master of the spatula, flipping faster than the eye could follow, grilling onions at a pace that could make you cry. Faster, the manager would cry. But I'm giving her all she's got, was the only reply. My God, man, what is in that shake? Well, it ain't ice cream and not much of a shake. This will take them out a whole new door. A chemical reproduction of what our competitors call a milkshake. 50% more sugar. 50% chemical taste. Let all that natural that stuff go to waste. Extra cheese, During this time, extra Jack hadn't made it fully into his box yet. Extra he was just clowning around at it. And the castle, with its gleaming towers, never sallied forth to engage in the madness. They had been at war from the very beginning. And with their shakes unsinkable to the largest of straws, felt no need to up the ante. So it was just the king and the Donald throwing fries over the ramparts. Hardy's was all but done and elected to let Carl's stand in its place. The colonel and the churches stood well back from the fray, knowing this was no place for them. They played chicken. Meanwhile, the masses were assaulted and salted. The burgers got bigger. Captain, this burger is structurally unsound. It's going to fall apart. Damn it, then let it fall apart. We need patties. But we're running out. Then put any meat you can find. Turkey, bacon, pastrami. Hell, if it'll work, put bologna on it and get it out the door. There's a war on. Ketchup. Ketchup. My kingdom for some ketchup. Beware the Ides of March. They bring mayo most foul. Give them turkey. Call it healthy, but let them eat cake. The Happy Meals no longer brought happiness as they did when I was younger. There was nowhere, no one, and no place safe from the war. The Whopper was on what it seemed like permanent sale at a dollar children across the country was scrambling to find every dime they could to sign up for the war. Susan B. gets a whopper from me. As it turns out, our lives were only worth 
the dollar the entry cost. This was found on a lonely hard drive in the back of a closet. The correspondent could not be found. Suspected to have succumbed to the conflict. Probably just another nameless face in the crowd covered in ketchup, mustard, and pickles. The sadness of society has come down to number of patties on a bun. Ask yourself, how long before you're all covered in secret sauce? Not a pretty picture, is it? Extra quick. Happy April Fool's Day. See how long you live through it. Oh Lord, what am I to